Hey, what's going on team? Quick market update. So overall NASDAQ market fell a little bit over 1%. It wasn't too bad of a day, uh, but one of the things that was very easy to see, especially during the entire pre-market session, was how consistently bearish. It's a lot easier to see. It's kind of hard to see on the one minute time frame. And this is a question that I feel like a lot of people kind of like uh, struggle with uh, because direction isn't super clear when you're looking at every minute of every candle of the day. Uh, so if you guys ever take a step back, five minute time frame, you guys can begin to see direction to be a little bit more clear. We can see that the overall market was trading below the moving average. No trades were taken today, it just didn't make sense. My criteria just wasn't there, uh, especially after the bloodbath yesterday. Um, uh, I was very eager to, um, or. I would, I would say I wasn't as eager to take a position today uh, because of how things played out yesterday. One of the things uh, that I did quickly want to talk about is uh, the April report uh, was released today uh, for the job reports and it looks like 428,000 jobs were added. Uh, this does look like progress, but one of the concerns with the Fed's raising interest rates um, is can businesses continue uh, to add and create jobs at the same rate that they have been and trying to recover them, uh, knowing that interest rates are going up, so making it more expensive for business to simply be in business, right? Um, I think that's one of the things that got factored into the market. It's not just the report itself, but the overall outlook for the up and coming future. So just make sure you take that into consideration as that is one of the concerns as we do begin to raise interest rates. That that doesn't mean that it's just more expensive for people like you and I, but for people that have their business, um, obviously rates are gonna be much more expensive, less affordable for them, and then that gets factored in, into, of course, uh, not just the, the cost of goods, but as well as the uh, way that jobs, or the rate that jobs are being actually created. I'm very grateful that I did end up holding back, um, and TQTQ was one of them that sold 3.5% off on the day, uh, but other stocks either like Amazon, 1.4%, not too shabby for Amazon. And then we got Apple that actually ended in the green. So this is what I personally really like to pay attention to is that you know now we have those good quality companies that are looking that they're finally beginning to establish their support level, right? This is not necessarily something that's of interest maybe for day traders, but when it comes down to investors, Apple, if I'm not mistaken, offers nearly 17% ROI if it were to recover to previous highs, so right around 16%. We got Amazon with over 50% ROI based off of current price levels and previous highs, so over 66%. Um, and again, these are uh, trillion dollar companies, right? These aren't pump and dumps, these aren't lower cap stocks. These are companies that, in my opinion, aren't going anywhere, and as of right now, still very oversold, still not indicating signs of a reversal, but again, finally beginning to at least slow down at the rate that they're actually beginning to sell off. So this is actually a conversation that I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, I'm thinking next week, uh, once I get back from my trip, uh, I wanted to host an in-person session at the HQ. So for all of our Learn, Plan, Profit members, we hosted one last week, and we talked about position size and then planning out our swing trades. Uh, now I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, the criteria of what when it makes sense to trade and when it doesn't, right? Because I feel like a lot of people maybe could have saved money as the market was just aggressively selling off. And instead of just trying to force a trade, I don't know if this is a mistake that you guys make often, instead of trying to force a trade every day, making sure that every day that you do choose to take a trade, that it at least meets your criteria and creating your own criteria checklist. Uh, we don't want anything crazy. We were thinking about having 10 people over at the HQ, having this in-person training for about 30 minutes to an hour. And yes, it's going to be free uh, if you're part of Learn, Plan, Profit. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that. We'd love to host that maybe on Monday or Tuesday of next week. Uh, if that works for you guys and you guys happen to be in Arizona, then hopefully we could see you guys at the HQ. But again, uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys can message me either down below in the comment section or we do have our free Discord group, which is that first link in the description. Um, if you guys are ready to join our LPP team, that's going to be that second link down below. Hope that earned a th thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.